folks you know what it is jose camachito rivera with you from chosen one productions um as you know it was an exciting weekend a mega fight over the weekend the ryan garcia much anticipated fight with gervonta tank davis and of course here at the wrong way at the boston airport in logan playoff atmosphere is in the air as the celtics won as the bruins won but what i really want to talk to you guys about is what ryan garcia is saying now that there was a mole in his camp that uh an insider that he was betrayed as uh he posted on his instagram that someone from his camp gave all the training details to the Gervantes David camp. Well, at the time, through, uh, through the press conference and the battles going back and forth with both camps, Gervantes Davis had told Ryan already that he had an insider in his camp. At the time, Ryan brushed it off as a mind game, as playing with his head, and he told him, no, Judas, in my camp is going to stop this impending win. Well, there was no win. Um, and now he is posting and he is saying that I'm not making an ex any excuses, but I guess Tank was right because I was betrayed. It's sad that I was betrayed by an insider. So, folks, um, we spoke, Chosen, uh, Chosen One Production spoke with both camps, sources on both camps, and tonight, they're gonna let us know if that's true. At the moment, it's just talk, no proof of really, that he really needed an insider, the tank needs somebody inside that camp um, to get the win. I don't think so, I had called it. Um, I have predicted a eighth round knockout. It happened in the seventh, but I was a round off. Okay, potatoes, potatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Um, the other situation is that now Garcia is complaining about the rehydration clause. So he signed it, he fought, he knew uh, uh, the contract, the stipulations and everything. And also there was a, rem a rematch clause. If that fight would have went the distance and would have went all 12 rounds, there would have been a rematch. I see no need for a rematch. So, I mean, let the big dogs do it. I didn't think, you know, there's levels in boxing and I didn't think that um, Ryan was at tanks level as a matter of fact i always said that uh ryan garcia was nothing more than a social media darling a social media diva um posting his quickness and his training um on instagram is what he did i mean as quick anybody could move uh, but the air doesn't hit back, the bags doesn't don't hit back, the mitts, um, they're not hitting you back. I mean, I'm, I could show you how quick my hands are, but it's not the same when you're in a prize match. So, you know, uh, he Ryan was who I thought he was. He turned out to be who he really is. And he got the money, he got paid. So, with that being said, folks, um, he is now admitting that he might have had a mo, an insider that betrayed him as he posted it on his Instagram. So, folks, stay tuned as Chosen One Productions is gonna talk this afternoon with both sides. We're going to talk with both sides. We're going to talk with the Javante Davis camp. We're going to talk with the Ryan Garcia camp. Give them time to marinate and get back to life. Today is Monday. And 
let's see what they say so stay tuned folks so why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the chosen one productions youtube and i will keep you informed of everything surrounding post fight and big fights coming as we now we have loma checo haney and i will keep you updated on our boy from worcester massachusetts jermaine ortiz you know that everything happening with the technician i will also keep you updated with all of that with that being said folks stay tuned subscribe and right back at you till next time peace